going back to to sort of a, one of the, the questions is, if you're going to have them, where are you going to put them? So whether you're in urban or suburban, are there permits, ordinances? Is that pretty controlled by townships? Absolutely. I've checked, uh, since we just uh, talked about doing this, I looked at, at the Berwyn and, and Easttown Township regulations, and there's nothing that okay. I can find. Right. And you usually find these ordinances in areas where they might discuss livestock, right. agricultural practices, you know, you can't, you can't keep a herd of cows in your backyard, right. that sort of thing. Um, you know, it usually comes under the area of slaughterhouses and rodeos. Right. I, I'm not kidding, there are provisions for these things in there. So if they, oh, don't, yeah. if they don't mention beekeeping under these topics, there's probably nothing there. Okay. Now that doesn't mean that people, you know, won't complain about your bees if they're being a nuisance. Okay. So that's something you have to take into consideration. Where are you going to put them? Right. They, the bees have their own requirements, and the human beings, your family and your neighbors, they have their requirements. Where right. those requirements clash, you're going to have a problem. Okay. So what sort of requirements do the bees have? Let's talk about that. They like sunlight. Okay. They like an open, airy. Um, airy. Um, yeah. They, they, there's, there should be some air current moving through. If you okay. put them in a in a gully that's always moist and the air is stifling, well, the bees will tell you they're not. If they don't like it, they're not going to stay. Okay. <laughs> right. They, they will. They will leave. They just won't die. They'll right. leave. They'll go live somewhere else. Uh, so you want a dry, uh, comfortable, uh, sunlit area. But at the same time, you want to protect them. So if you look at where your bad weather comes from, like in our area here, most of our really nasty, cold, violent weather comes from the northwest. Yes. So you would like to have some kind of barrier on those on that side of the hives. Okay. It can be it can be a fence. It can be a building. It can be a heavy shrubbery. Right. Uh, things like holly bushes, evergreens, things like yeah. that, that they keep their density year-round. Right. Because in the wintertime, that's when it's really bad. Wind is, is a great killer of bees. Cold okay. wind will, will wipe them out overnight. Okay. So, so you want to look at things like that for the, for the bees. Right. Um, they need a water supply. And this okay. is where they kind of come into conflict with, with human beings. They will drink from a swimming pool. Even okay. one with that's been treated for with chemicals, right? They will take over a bird bath. Okay. Um, and uh, so, if you don't have a natural water source for them to go to, they'll find water, and right. they don't care where it's coming from. Okay. Um, so you may have to supply them with water. Where I live, I have to put water out for them. And how much water does a hive yeah. need? So, two questions I guess, come to I mind. Guess, I guess, but, uh, about a gallon a week per hive. Now, and some how many going to bees be do you have in a hive? Well, it depends on the time of year. At the height of uh, summer, when their population is the greatest, it's about 60,000 per hive. Okay. Uh, they're not all out at the same time. Usually right. Usually about a third of them are out actually foraging for water and pollen and nectar and that sort of right. stuff. Right. Um, so I guess at any one time, for, for the four that I have in an area right now, that's at the max. It's a quarter of a million, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> sounds phenomenal. Sometimes it seems more than that, but uh, there there are a lot out, and they're dispersed. You might only see one or two, uh, except at a location like, unfortunately, somebody's bird bath, who might be a hundred feet away from my house right. or from my from my apiary. Right. And and they will they will gather at that. And if a bird comes to use it, they'll react defensively. The bees will react, right. react defensively and drive the bird away. Okay. So you what sort of range the do the bees have? I mean, you talk about 100 feet. I mean, oh, how far do they go? They they are have been recorded to to have to go three to five miles. Well, yes. Okay. They cover a large, large area. Now that doesn't mean they will go that far just looking for something. They'll go that far. To find something. Okay. If there's something closer, obviously. Sure. It's closer. Okay. Uh, 
but they do have a very wide range. I, when I lived in the city and I was trying to figure out how far my bees might, might go, I said, if I, if I had a beehive at City Hall, I mean, it, my bees would be foraging in New Jersey and on the other side of the Schuylkill. I mean, it's, okay. it's amazing. 